in a busy street corner near New York's South Street Seaport, where ships pass on the East River and trains roar on the Manhattan Bridge above, dancers seem pinned to a cement wall and appearing to drip melting bee wax provide an unusual sight. Called Melt, it is the latest creation by choreographer Naomi LaFrance, who specializes in site-specific dance. So uh, Melt is inspired by heat. Um, and it's, it wants to push the boundaries of you know, our limitation as physical bodies. So we're very fragile beings. And we, you know, if the sun was to suddenly just get hotter and hotter, we couldn't really withstand that. Some of her dancers seek to draw attention to a social issue connected with the location, like the one she staged in the pool of New York's McCarran Park. I was really trying to bring attention to a pool that was abandoned and that nobody was really caring for in a way, but actually that's not true. There was a lot of people in the neighborhood that did care about that space, but nothing was happening with it, and it had been abandoned for 20 years. Other dances are inspired by the space, like this one on the roofs of the Fisher Art Center at Bard College in upstate New York, designed by American architect Frank Gehry. It's that that mystery that those buildings have in a way that, like, that you don't really understand them as like, you know, straight walls. You can, it's very easy to, for the mind to understand. So the, the, I feel like his work sort of brings people to think about shapes and how does that, and then I bring another layer to that. Naomi LaFrance also choreographs for the camera. One, two, three, four, tell me that you love me. She is famous for this video by singer-songwriter Feist, which she did in cooperation with filmmaker Patrick Daughter. It was really inspiring yeah. to make the piece, actually, and it was initially Feist's idea to do something sort of inspired by um, her. In her youth, she did the Olympics and she did these big uh, piece with a lot of people dancing together, and uh, <clears throat> so so we we were trying to mimic that, but we were trying to also keep it more human, like it was more a group of friends. In contrast to her other work, the dancers in Melt are extremely limited in their movements. They are like insects, but in a while, in fact, I'm, I'm using a lot of insect sounds in the piece. Um, but I also think of it as a, as a sculpture on the wall or as a sort of a live painting. In fact, Melt has been described not as a dance performance, but as a dance installation. The dancers actually remain on their perches between the two nightly presentations, while hundreds line outside to share the experience. In New York, Benam Nategi, VOA News.